objective to apply concepts of conservation of energy, gravitational potential energy, work, and power. Introduction. What is power? What makes someone the most powerful? Is the strongest person the most powerful? Is the fastest person the most powerful? Well, you're going to find out. You're going to have a group competition with the rest of the class. You are going to get into groups of about five people, and you will pick who you think is the most powerful. This person will be competing against the rest of the group's representatives, and the team with the most powerful person will be crowned the victor. Group roles, preferably groups of five. Runner, who will be running up the stairs. Recorder, call ready, set, go, and will record the times. And three timers, who will time the run. Materials, three stopwatches and a bathroom scale, which is optional. Procedure. 1. Decide each person's role. 2. Recorder. Enter in the table on the last page the height of each step and the number of stairs from the teacher. 3. Timers. Go to the top of the stairs and recorder. Stay at the bottom. 4. Recorder. Call ready, set, go for the runner and timers to start. 5. Runner. Go as fast as possible to the top. And timers. Stop your watch as soon as the runner hits the top. And six, recorder, collect all three times. Data collection and analysis. One, runner, tell how much you weigh in pounds and convert to mass in kilograms. An example being 180 pounds divided by 2.2 is equal to 81.8 kilograms. Two, calculate the force the runner uses to lift themselves. Force is equal to mass times gravity. 3. Find the average time it took for the runner to get up the stairs, T. 4. Calculate how high to the top the stairs is relative to the bottom. H is equal to N times H, where N is the number of stairs and H is the height of one stair. 5. Calculate the vertical velocity of the runner, V, where V is equal to the total height of the staircase over the time it took for the runner to reach the top. 6. Calculate the work done by the runner. Work is equal to force times distance is equal to mgh. 7. Calculate the power by multiplying the runner's force and the runner's vertical velocity. 8. Calculate the power by dividing work by the average time. Group analysis and application questions should be answered as a class. Thank you for your participation in this online lab. I'll see you next time.